Hello and welcome to analyticshub.io where our mission is to make you an awesome click developer. In today's video, I want to show you how you can use ClickSense to build a predictive model using simple linear regression. And I have written an article on Analytics Vidya, which is one of the popular data science blogs in India. So I highly encourage you to read the article since the article shows step by step how you can create a predictive model using simple linear regression in ClickSense. It starts with the concept of linear regression. At the basic linear regression has this equation y equal mx plus b where y is your dependent variable, x is your independent variable, m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. And for linear regression modeling, you have to make sure the data is fit for the analysis, and you do so by evaluating coefficient of determination and coefficient of correlation. And fortunately, ClickSense provides built-in functions. So after the introduction of linear regression, I discussed the data set that's been used and in this case, I stumbled upon an interesting article that discussed relationship between teen pregnancy and poverty rate in America. And I thought that was quite interesting. So I searched for data and I found this data set on University of Pennsylvania's statistical course. So I downloaded that in text format. And that's what I have here loaded into my ClickSense app. And if you read the article, it then shows step by step how you can create a linear model for predictive modeling in ClickSense. And in the end, I also created similar model in Python using Scikit and then compared the results between the ClickSense predictive model and the one that I created in Python. So that way you can assure that my ClickSense predictive model is as accurate as widely used Python scikit linear regression model. So that being said in part one, I'm going to walk you through steps to create your first linear regression model in ClickSense. Let's get started. I have the data set loaded and this is simple script with just one table. Now we're going to go and create predictive model. Let's first start with scatterplot chart because scatterplot is useful when you compare two measures. In this case, we'll compare poverty percent versus teen pregnancy rate. So let's create scatter plot with dimension state, which is location, and then the x axis is going to be poverty percent. And let's go ahead and get that sum of percentage. And on the y axis, we're going to have birth rate for teenagers group 15 to 17. So here's our scatter plot chart. Now, how do we know whether this data is fit for linear regression? So for that, we're going to use built-in functions to show coefficient of correlation and coefficient of determination. So let's first start with coefficient of correlation, which shows how two measures are correlated with each other. In this case, it's the poverty rate versus pregnancy in teenage group. 15 to 17. So I'm going to use a text and image and this simply will a built-in function which is correlation and here you show the y-axis comma x-axis. So in this case it's going to be birth 15 to 17 comma 40 percent and hit apply. So that number is showing 0.73. Let's format this by aligning it to the center and add text. So it's correlation coefficient. We're going to change the size of the text to, so that's our first number. And we also will make the number stand out. Let's make it large. So that's our first number. Now let's add coefficient of determination. So I'm going to copy this text and paste it and change the text to coefficient of determination. And of course the expression will change line r2 square because that is what the coefficient of determination is let's apply and here that number is 0.533 now we're going to add the expression for simple linear regression is going to be y equal mx plus b so let's add a kpi 
ahead and add KPI here. And my major is going to be Y equal MX plus B. That's our simple linear regression model. Y being the dependent variable, X being the independent variable, M the slope, and B is the Y intercept. But before we move forward, I just want to show you that I created a variable called X which is my independent variable, which shows the poverty percent, so that I can change poverty percent to see expected teen pregnancy rate. M is going to be a built-in function for the slope, just line S underscore M, and the parameters are going to be dependent variable, comma, independent variable. So it's going to be birth 15 to 17, comma, 40%. So that's m multiplied by x, which is the variable that I've created for independent variable for the poverty, plus line estimate underscore b, which is ClickSense built-in function for the y-intercept. And again, the parameters are going to be dependent variable, comma, independent variable. So this is the formula for simple linear regression. Simply put, I have slope multiplied by independent variable plus y-intercept. And let's add a user-friendly label here. So, And add sub KPI to show our independent variable because it's important to show independent variable, in this case, the poverty rate that correlates to that teen pregnancy rate. So in this case, it's going to be a simple dollar sign expansion. And in this case, our variable value is 26. If you actually see the variable definition and the value, it is 26. All right, another thing we want to do is to add a slider so that we can change the poverty percent. So I'm going to go into custom objects and from the dashboard bundle, we're going to get a variable input at the top and let's change some of the settings. So the value is going to be variable X and it's going to be a slider and the values are going to be zero to hundred instead of one. And we also would like to show the label. In this case, it's 26%. So that's for the independent variable, which is poverty rate percent. All right, and let's add a table that we can look at the data if we need to for validation. So we're gonna go ahead and add a table. So we're gonna add location, then add a measure for the birth rate and another measure for poverty percent. And for the poverty, change the label to percent. All right, and let's add a filter for state, and that's the location. So these are all the states here. And let's change the color of the scatter plot to by major. And we do not want to show the legend, so we're gonna turn that off. And also, we will change the label of x-axis and the y-axis. And that's pretty much it. So now I can use my slider to change the poverty rate and the correlated expected pregnancy rate among the group 15 to 17. One of the questions asked in that statistical course at the University of Pennsylvania is what is the expected pregnancy rate if the poverty rate is 15%? You can simply change the value of independent variable to 15 and you can see that's 24.87%. Another great thing about ClickSense is that because of its associative model, you can select set of states and predict a teen age pregnancy rate for those states. So for instance, I can do a lasso search for the states. 
and see that for this stage, the expected pregnancy rate would be 18.49%. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create the same model in Python, and then we'll compare the output between the model that we have created in ClickSense and Python. So stay tuned. Also, if you like what you're seeing, we advise you to join our academy because we have a ton of content and we keep adding content every month with the intent to make you a rock star click developer. So please join us. And for that, thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next video.